lot's going on. Welcome. This is the Pig Trail Network. I am Tidezilla83, and I want to say thank you so much for stopping by and checking out the content. You guys, a lot of you already know what to do, but for those of you who do not, I need you to, uh, at the end of the video, like, comment, share the content that you that you just finished watching when you're done watching it. And, uh, of course, if you haven't already, feel free to tap the subscribe button down below. Yeah, that's still hot, and I just burned my tongue. It's that time of year. Second official signing day. Or the second official signing period. The first one was December 20th. We've talked about that before. It sucks all the energy out of the room, doesn't it? Like, you're going to have that, that signing day drama. You're going to have a kid go to Miami instead of Florida State. You're going to have someone flip. You're going to have that typical signing day drama that we all know and love. But it's not going to be the same because it's obviously – not going to be as many. So when we glance over this class, I just want to say really quick. First off, I don't know that there's anybody that, that Arkansas is going to flip. We could talk about, we could throw some names out there. Um, I don't know that they're, that they're going to get anybody to flip. When you look at it, I think two weeks ago, you felt pretty good about your chances. Anyways, really quick, you got to remember, for those of you, when, when we see these numbers land and when we look at the official signing day, or the, the signing day class, the 2018 class, and we look back, a lot of people are probably going to say, wow, Chad Morris, maybe he's not all that in a bag of chips when it comes to recruiting, like we all thought that he was. got to remember, first off, the big sell on him wasn't that he could go out and recruit four and five stars left and right. It's his ability to evaluate and to develop. That's what he's kind of hung his hat on, his ability to evaluate players and then to develop said players. That's where that's his bread and butter. You hope, because of his connections in Texas, that he's going to land a couple of those. I think he will. I think he'll land. I don't know about five stars or whatever or high school Americans, but he's gonna. I think he's going to land some guys that typically probably wouldn't have considered Arkansas, but because of his Texas connections, you know, all all across the state, and because of his staff, I think he's I think he's going to surprise some people in Texas. But having saying that, looking back on this class, it's not going it, to you know when you look at star power and you look at rankings, it's not going to be two things that shine about this class. It's you're going to have to look at oh wow look at this guy he was only a three star and, and uh, you know Chad Morris was able to to bring him here and and uh, so obviously his evaluation process you know was dead on and his ability. To help that player evolve and, and to and to take the next step into the SEC level, wow, it was legit. That's why they hired him on. And I think I think you're going to have a number of those in this class. Now, being completely honest, is this a good recruiting class? It's a no. I don't think it's a very good class. And this is where it's kind of tricky. When you consider they're not going to get to fill out, they're not getting 25 signees this year they're going to get what i think 18 i think is the correct number now that could change along the way and you know sometimes you get those kids that come in really late someone leaves and you can add them to the class yada 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 but as it stands now top to bottom this is this isn't a class where there, there's not a player that i look at on this list and i go oh my gosh that guy is going to be a star there's not very many of those in this class you know i have doubts about in in I know you're not supposed to say this, but I have doubts about some of these kids. That why why they even get a Division One offer? And I'm not gonna name. I'm not gonna say names. But there are like four kids in this class. I'm looking at and I'm going, why? Why do they have offers from an SEC program? Maybe not so much, you know, Division One. But why are they getting SEC? This is not these three or four players are not SEC caliber players. But again, I could be wrong. That's why I'm not gonna say names. I could be dead wrong. I think bringing Chad Morris in, he's been able to kind of evolve this this class to some degree, and that's a good thing. Obviously, that speaks to his ability, you know, to to well, really, it speaks to his ability when you look at who he picked up, you know, to attract that kind of you know kids out of Texas and what have you. I still look at Miles Mason, the kid out of Alabama. Wow, um, I don't know if Chavis again. I, I don't know his whole story. I don't know if Chavis had a lot to do with that. You know, his hiring. But it was an, it's an impressive pickup. So I don't know, signing day, is there going to be anybody, oh, my gosh, he's coming to Arkansas? What? He was, he's been committed here the entire time. Are we going to have any of that? I don't know. You might. 
there, there's a couple of kids that kind of come to come to the front of my mind, but again, I, not likely. And I think this class from the top to bottom, eh, you know, I hope they pan out, and I hope I'm wrong. I hope this entire class proves me wrong. But again, you know, this year it's kind of a you have to pick quality over quantity, and it's not like Arkansas is going to get first pick. You know, it's not like Arkansas can walk into the state of Florida and grab a couple of the top 20 players out of that state, or even even Texas, with all their connections to Texas, the likelihood of doing that, especially given the timetable granted to Coach Morris, it's just not likely. But, you know, with some of these kids, I think you're going to have a couple of diamonds in the rough and what have you, diamonds in the dirt situations. I think you're going to have a couple of those. But overall, probably not the strongest class. What's going to matter is is here on out what Chad Morris does moving forward. Uh, you know, for recruiting Arkansas players, recruiting players to Arkansas, twenty that twenty nineteen class, and and moving forward, it's a big deal. So right now they have zero, I believe they have zero commitments for twenty nineteen, and uh, hopefully, you know, it, when you talk about some of the players that have that have come up on that radar for twenty nineteen, and if they land just a few of these kids, that could be a really interesting class moving forward but anyways thank you guys so much remember to like comment share subscribe and uh, i'll see you guys on the next video peace